look, man, I don't need you. So how about you go over there with the other cameraman that's not doing anything, and you sit there and you play patty cake until I'm done. Shut up. It is ridiculous how the AOW fans do not appreciate greatness. Last night at Grand Slam, I won the right to be called number one contender for the Primetime Division Championship. One of the most hellacious matches this business has ever seen. People flying through the air, bodies dropping each second, yet no one could touch me. No one can add up to the talent that I had. After winning the match, you would expect for me to get some kind of appreciation from the crowd. You would expect for the fans to cheer me on my victory. Yet, I didn't get anything but boos. Each of you booed me from the second that I climbed the ladder and grabbed the briefcase to the second that I went up the ramp to the backstage area. When I got to the backstage area, you would expect for me to get congratulations and a handshake from someone, yet no one came out and gave me congratulations and a handshake. No women came out, gave me hugs and congratulated me. No one came out and said, I can't wait for you to get your title shot. One guy approached me. You wanna know what he said? Out of the way, it's time for Nick Virtue to return. You mean to tell me that Nick Virtue's return is better than me? Me, the show, J Maximum. The reason you people show up here every week and the face of AOW, winning the right to be called the number one contender for the primetime championship? So you mean to tell me that I have to be Nick Virtue to get attention? You mean to tell me that I have to get thrown off the top of a cell to get you people's attention? For you people to show me appreciation? You mean to tell me I have to suffer a career-threatening injury? You mean to tell me I have to wear all white? Look at me. I'm wearing all white. I was wearing all white before him. You mean to tell me to get attention from you fans, you ungrateful, disrespectful fans, that I have to get attacked by a Zulu warrior? And speaking of the attack from the Zulu warrior, it doesn't make sense to me. How the hell can you attack someone when you are twice, maybe three times their size? Talk about a coward. Another coward is one man you people know very well. A man by the name of Marco Betty. A man who is said to be walking backstage, huffing and puffing, about not being involved in the ladder match to declare the number one contender for the primetime championship. A man who is also doubting my win at the pay-per-view. A man who is doubting my capture of the briefcase that entitles me to a primetime championship match whenever I please. So tonight, he will be the first to fall victim to the soon-to-be best primetime champion in AOW history. I will not be disrespected. You people, including everyone in the back, will respect me. And after I'm done with Marco tonight, everyone will know that when I'm in the building, it's showtime. Did you hear that, you ingrates? When I'm in the building, it's showtime.